It was the last couple of hours, my last day before my vacation started. I answered a 911 call and there was nobody there. I tried calling it back and as I was trying to call it back, I received another call from the same number, same location. And it was a female saying she had been shot. Long County, 911, what's your emergency? You just go into the mode, the, what you've been trained to do. You ask the questions. Where are you? What's the phone number? Who am I talking to? I got a shooting. Okay, I need both of you to apply pressure over the wound. I've got help coming. Can you, can you shield yourself from him? Can you get somewhere safe, sweetheart? It doesn't hit you as you're taking the call, but later when you get to thinking about it, and especially the fact that the people involved were the same age as my kids. Put it on speakerphone, sweetheart. I'm going to stay on the phone. I'm not going to hang up. They're coming. They're coming as fast as they can. You can't help but empathize. Stay with me, sweetheart. Keep talking to me. I was worried about her. I was worried because I didn't know if the person was going to come back and if they did what they would do. They're coming. They're coming as fast as they can. They're almost there. Don't stop talking to me. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay. Keep talking. I listened to the call last night for the first time. And what did you think? How, how did I do that? Yeah. They're almost to you. Tell them to hang in there. Help's gone its way. There's days when you, when you leave and you don't want to come back into the room, but when you know that you have a good outcome, that, um, that you're helping people, that's what makes it, that's what makes you want to come back. Do you think you did in this case? Everybody went home alive.